Hey guys, my name is Toby. I'm the co-founder of Kittle and today I would like to introduce you to a very exciting feature called Kittle Flows. Kittle Flows allow you to connect artboards with AI-powered boards that we call smart boards. And how this works, I will show you now. As you see, I have already a project open here with an artboard in the center as we used to. Now, if I select this, you will have this option add smartboard here on the right side in your properties panel. When I click it, it will add a smartboard that is connected to my previous board. You will see this connection line here indicating that this new board is connected to the previous one. This means all the edits I want to make are based on this previous input. Here on the right side, you have an input field where you could can describe like the edits that you would like to apply to, to this input. In this case, I will go for make it more colorful and add florals. You have a few options here. You could change the aspect ratio. You can also change the quality of the output and you can even um, toggle on transparent background to generate transparent images. But we will go with this for now. Let's hit generate. And while this loads, I will show you what the feature is capable of. So in this example, I applied a couple of different Chrome text effects to my input board. So this is a standard board as we know it, right? I can edit this text as usual. You can also replace this with your logo or anything basically. And I've connected a couple of boards, um, turning this into a Chrome text effect. So all these have like a prompt applied. I could now hit generate again to regenerate the image. Um, especially useful if you replace the content to regenerate um, and get your version of this. And look how nice these look. It's just a few words and a click. And you get some pretty, pretty amazing text effects. Let's get back to our previous project here. So it turned it into a more colorful and floral design. This is what we wanted. Looks pretty, pretty amazing. Um, and it's called Kittle Flows because you can continue now iterating on this. Let's say I want to add another smart board. I can easily do this here and add another prompt. Let's try. Make this more vector style and flat and hit generate again. We will get back to this later. Um, I would like to show you some other use cases very quick. So it's extremely useful for brand exploration. So in this case, I started with a smart board generating a minimal sans serif logo for a brand. And then I continued iterating on this uh, concept, making it more rounded, making it more geometric and so on and so on to get the idea. You can even go crazy, like take the style and create like logo marks out of it and so on. Everything, everything is possible here. Um, yeah, again, for brand exploration, you can generate images, iterate on this um, super easily to get like a mood for your brand very, very quickly. The nice thing is that, of course, you can use all Kittle features with this, right? So you can turn this into a vector and then edit any anchor point, clean this up and really make this unique. Let's get back. So this is our vector style flat version and it made a good job, right? It's definitely more vector style. I can now convert this to an image using, this was maybe too quick. So you have this convert to image button here in your tool section. I can convert this to an image and um, this, yeah, converts it to an image as it says. Uh, and then I can use like any of our um, features here. I could, for example, vectorize this. Uh, let's make this like five colors. And then, of course, you can continue editing these, right? So let's say this I would like to have 
more in a white tone, right? Or this should be darker. Um, whatever you want. Um, a few more use cases I would like to introduce you to is the product ad generator. So here I basically went from zero to one, um, creating different product ads with a very, very raw basic layout. Uh, just having like this bottle here in the center. You could also replace this with anything, of course. Um, and then generate multiple concepts very quickly. You could even select all of them at once and then hit generate again. And it would regenerate all these parts in a matter of seconds. I love to use it also to apply stylistic uh, effects in this case. Uh, I went for like a mosaic style. Uh, this is my input po input board. Again, everything is editable, of course, and then generate different mosaic concepts, adding ornamentation and all these things to make it look very realistic. Um, I think it's pretty, pretty amazing what you can do with it. Um, also interesting, probably to a lot of you, like you can use it to create mockups very easily. So this is a, my input board here, and then I generated a couple of uh, mockups uh, describing different sceneries and setups. And last but not least, I think it's extremely useful to create um, illustration sets. So here I started with this uh, emoji uh, 3D element and then created like an entire set of different graphics out of this, right? Um, and I've mentioned it at the beginning, you can also generate images with a transparent background, which is pretty handy, especially for this uh, use case, um, because I can now convert this to an image and this will turn it into a PNG, which doesn't have a background, so I can directly use this in my design. That's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I am extremely excited to see what you come up with, um, how you use it, and I'm super happy about any feedback. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day. Bye.